here. I'd like to welcome you to the Major Prep Key Alert. This is your boy, Brian Majors, the owner of Major Preparation, where the model is putting in major work for major results. So whatever you're doing, you have to put in the work in order to get the results. Uh, BJ from We Do Media, the owner of We Do Media. If you're doing anything about media, you need to be, make sure you're seeing BJ. He travels the world. He travels different state to state. Anything media-wise, he's the man to go see. Um, so the Major Key Alert web series is just about meeting and talking to and engaging with different entrepreneurs, um, athletes, administrators, different people on their own journey to success and understanding what drives them to become successful. Um, so we're going to get right into it. Today, again, we have BJ. And I'd like to welcome you on board for today, man. This, this no web series is going to be a very long, um, engaging type of web series with different people. And I'm glad you're on board for it. Uh, just, um, in, your, in your few words, can you sum up a little bit about uh, We Do Media, how it came about, and a few of your, uh, not a few, but all of your service that you provide to the community, to uh, your brand? Oh, okay. Basically, We Do Media started almost about five years ago now when I was getting married and I needed a videographer and a photographer and a graphic designer yeah. and they all was trying to charge me up and I'm like man I know how to do all this like so I'm like put my brain together took you know what I mean the money I had hired a videographer hired a photographer and made all my own little designs and that's how we came to birth and once people seen the finished project they was like can you do that for me and it just right. was a little snowball effect after that <laughs> but, um videography photography graphic designs uh, social media any media you think about like it ain't it ain't far from me any type of media i'm there <laughs> so the name we do media how did that come about or kind of what's the like how did that come about we do media just basically wanted to make a statement as far as like we could do media together you know what i mean we okay. work plenty of times brian and it's like we doing it together you know and it just it just came off like that like this is what we do because it's really not about me i want to make sure that who i'm working with or from hiring somebody or contracting or whatever we all doing it together right yeah on your journey to success, though, as you endure your own um, endeavors and your goals, like what are a few major keys that keep you um, driven? Like, what what do you feel as though is important to you on your journey to success, and what allowed you to be here today, still after five years, going on five years? Just mainly my awareness. You know, I I say going on five years because you know that's how long I've really been doing this and um, it's just being aware of why you're doing it and how you're doing it and and you know what I mean what you can do you know knowing the market and everything else is mainly that awareness and um, and the environment is key too that would be my second okay. key thing so with, with, with the awareness what um what all is it does being aware of the people you work with, is that a part of awareness? Being aware of your style of professionalism, are those also a part of being aware? Everything, bro. Like, you can't, you got to be aware of the market, mm -hmm. you know, like, the trends, what's popping. And you just got to be. The media is changing, yeah. it seems as though, every day. Like, every there's something day. new from Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, even back to MySpace. Today, MySpace is unthinkable at this point. People only remember MySpace in this generation, so this media thing is ongoing. So being aware has to be very important. Yeah, that's that's it. Being just fully aware of like you know what's new, the trends, and you know kind of understand your market and just just knowing yourself. Like mm -hmm. you got to be aware of what you can do and what you can't do, right. and just, and just knowing what what to say yes to and what to say no to. Okay. I said you secondly mentioned your environment. Yeah, environment is key. You know, just having a, a positive environment, being in the right environment, and just understanding that you know, you kind of are the company you keep. Mm. So that that that's that's why I say environment is key because you know we 
you here at my home and it's you know not too many people come at home but you know you a real friend and brother is welcome in this type of environment everything everybody shouldn't be in everywhere thinking that you know it's the right thing for them to do or the right, right place it has to really be set up for them mm -hmm. and they got to be aware of that also <laughs> you, you it was it was a good a good key you hit on you said your your brand is a product of the company you keep yeah can you can you expand on that just a little bit well i mean i don't make a lot of music videos and i'm not taking nothing from music videos but when i kind of get labeled is more like doing events and stuff mm -hmm. like i like that positive environment to do business in because right. it just it's like planting a seed it just mm -hmm. sp spurts more and more and more good things and what's been having my success was um being the right place at the right time is more and more business right and that's why i say environment is key mm -hmm. you know i'm not selling just preach to the choir trying to sell stuff to school students this and that it's just like you know other entrepreneurs like my ourselves you know certain type of little business needs and there's just so many different environments you got to be aware of right and what what's another important key that you have to stay on top of on your own journey to success so far uh, motivation you gotta motivate yourself and you gotta know you know what I mean who to call to motivate you. Mm. That's that's where it's all start, man. That motivation is key. So with that, you said self-motivation is a part of that. What is it that motivates you to wake up every day and believe in your brand or wakes up every day and not have a problem with um, enduring your journey? Like, What's your motivation? I mean, my, my main motivation is, you know, my family, my, me, my two boys, my vision is to leave something for them and just taking care of, you know, just my family, you know, my mm -hmm. wife, everybody in, in my whole immediate circle. It motivates me every day because, wow. like, when I wake up to when I walk out that door, they all depending on me. Mm -hmm. So I, I that if that ain't enough, you know, I don't, I don't even know why I'm doing it. Right. <laughs> You said self-motivation, that has to go a lot with having to believe in yourself no matter what. Exactly, exactly. Mm. Yes, that's it, man. Like, just knowing, you know what I mean, aware, that back to your awareness, your worth, motivating, and just, you know what I mean, just not being afraid, tacking on any tasks, so, so forth. Because the funny thing about this media stuff is people come up with any and everything just to get it done, you know what right. I mean? And if ain't nobody going, you ain't nobody to say, oh, well, we, we, we can't do that or let me think about it. Or, you know what I mean? You got to be prepared going to these meetings knowing like, man, I could do that. Like, I know, you know, they ain't calling me for, they only calling for a reason, mm. you know? So that's that. But yeah, motivation is key and awareness. I'm going to just keep saying that because you, you never know what you're aware of. You know what I mean, if you can't motivate yourself, you need to be aware of who can do it or who to right, listen to. Or right, that's very what, key, what, right. What the music to listen to and who what, what's going to work, you know? Mm. Wow. So, so. The, the dedica dedication with commitment, you know? Mm. It's like commitment is key, man. I've been, this journey, the same journey, you know, with my marriage, but committed, you know, ever since, you know? Right. just Just dedicating everything, you know what I mean? So it, it seems as though like you're uh, like a, a big focus and your dedication and goes along with like a way of life for you being yeah. dedicated to your priorities as a, as a as a man and your priorities to your brand and they coincide with one another. Exactly, that's a great way to put it. Yeah. Wow. That's a def great way to put it, man. It's, it's, it's like a bond, you know. Mm. <laughs> it's mm. a bond. <laughs> yeah, your personal life and and your brand. Is a bond. Yeah. So they both the, the the decisions you make with your brain and your personal life coincide with one another yeah. and work hand to hand. Yeah. Wow. Exactly, man. Because wow. you can't get it like you, if you ain't got you know the support. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean. The different people and the commitment. Because my wife knows how dedicated I am to this. So right. she's committed just as key as it is with me. You know. Wow. One hand washes the other.
One last, one last major key that I really like hit him hard here. Uh, just, just your goal, you know. Like my, my end goal is a media center, so like mm. everything I do is going to be striving towards that. Like everything. So if you ain't got no goal, you need to go back to number one. With, right. G be aware of what you're doing it for. You mm. know. <laughs> That, that, that goes along the lines of um, something I say to people when and when I do my speakings is you start with your end goal in mind. Exactly. Exactly. Wow. Wow. Start with your end goal in mind. So that, that's important to have and to know your vision before you even get started. Yeah. So it also can help you be aware of the trends. It can also help you stay engaged with your environment mm -hmm. and your surroundings. It can help you stay motivated. It can help you um, stay dedicated to your own vision. Exactly. And again, it'll keep you right in line with your goals and your dreams and being able to prioritize and being fo and staying focused on your focus by all means. Wow. Yeah. We got We Do Media here, man. Uh, wow. That, that's, that's very um, uh, influential to know like what you endure on your journey and how you are... Um, kind of striving on your journey to success so far. Yeah, I mean, only only other the key I say is just, you know, just stay focused. You know, it's a lot of distractions out here. You just stay focused on why you're doing it, how you're doing it, and it's all going to work out. And um, you can find me at We Do Media on everything. You know, Twitter, media, we do, but everything else is just We Do Media. And the website is wedo-media.com. To become successful. So make sure you stay tuned. Again, this is your boy Brian Majors, the owner of Major Preparation, where the model is putting in major work for major results. If you don't put in the work, you don't get the results. But be sure to go check out We Do Media for any events, any media engagement, any media consulting, anything regards to media. Make sure you contact the media guy, BJF on We Do Media, man. You <laughs> see right, it on man. his chest. Hey, I appreciate your no time, problem, man. man. Nothing but love, baby. Yes, sir. All day. Stay tuned. Yeah.